So greetings from my campsite in the Pine Barrens of Southern New Jersey. Site number four. All right, here at Hawk, I think it's called the Hawkins Bridge Campground. Literally in the middle of nowhere. Just lacking a picnic table though. But I guess we'll make do. Naomi likes it out here. But yeah. This is remote. Yeah, but this is part of my two day trip to southern New Jersey. We were at uh, Brigantine Beach natural area earlier this morning. Then we were at, uh, was it the Edmund B. Forsyth National Wildlife Refuge. Checked out the abandoned ghost town of Harrisville. Now we're gonna spend the night here. A little early, it's 2.30. But it'll give me time to set up. There's supposed to be some thunderstorms coming in tonight. Or this, this evening actually, especially by five o'clock. So I'm gonna, I wanna, I wanna get things set up. Maybe make a little something to eat. I haven't eaten lunch yet. Yeah, but this is the road into the campground. And the road, and the road that brings you back here is not much uh, better. Yeah, this is the road I came in on. Came in from that direction. So, no busy highway at this campsite. I know last time we were at uh, Ravensburg State Park in Pennsylvania. Had some highway noise to deal with. Not gonna happen here. We might be totally alone out here tonight, I think. It's a Thursday evening. So, all right. We can do that. All right, so I'm gonna get back there and get things situated, find a place to put my tent up. I brought the pavilion, not the pavilion, but the canopy along today because of the rain. So I think I'll get that set up as a bug crawls up my glasses. All right, there we go. There's a potential for severe thunderstorms, so if that happens, I'll quick take the canopy down. We nice have a dry spot, though. You know, I might put the canopy right over the tent, too. I mean, my tent is waterproof, but we'll see. Maybe, like, right at the opening, so I have an area I can sit. So there's no picnic table. So if it does rain, I can open the front of my tent up and, like, have stuff situated there. I think that's an idea. Let's do it. All right, we've got the tent up, but we got a little visitor already. Mr. Toad. Oh, you don't want to stay at my campsite? <laughs> See him hopping away there. All right, we'll let him go. And yeah, don't go under my tent. All right. All right, well, we'll get the, the rain fly on tonight. The last few times I camped, well, that breeze feels good. It also means storms are probably coming, but we're going to get the yeah, was a, what was I saying? Yeah, the last couple of times we camped, I left the rain fly off because we didn't need it. I could look up at the stars and moon, but tonight we'll put it on. And I think I'm going to put the canopy like in the front part here. See how that works out. All right, so this is what we got set up. So the tent is all set up. Rain fly is on. I got the canopy kind of made like a porch area. Got a tarp down. There's a lot of ants and stuff, ant hills and stuff, so the tarp will cover all that. I don't want to sit in the sand. The ants, it's a little bit away from my fireplace there. Fireplace, fire pit. We'll see about that. I don't know. Depends on how much it rains later this evening. We'll see what happens with that. But yeah, if it gets, uh, I mean, if the if the storms get too severe, I can quick take, this is just Velcroed on, I can quick take this off instead of having it. I mean, I have some heavy duty uh, stakes in there. I bought. So we'll see how this works. I'm gonna get the air mattress set up because I can cook out front here maybe. One thing is, like I said, the only thing missing is that picnic table. I think it's one piece of camping item I need to get get yet. You can get you can buy like a portable mini uh, folding uh, picnic table for camping. I have to get one of those. Yes, yeah, so I got my chair in here just relaxing a bit, but I'm being invaded by look at these all these. Like caterpillars on my tent. One, two, three, four over there. Another one crawling up here. Not totally sure what they are. They, uh, they're making themselves at home here. Hey, there you go. Oops, yeah, I hit my head on canopy. There's one on top of the tent up there. I don't know if you guys belong here. I guess as long as they don't bother me, they can be here. It is certainly peaceful out here. 
Still haven't gotten the air mattress out or anything. Ready my cooking stuff. Just kind of taking a break. Trying to rehydrate myself a little bit. Almost four o'clock. There's some more thunderstormy looking clouds showing up, so we'll probably get storms at some point, I guess. All right, but we, we're gonna get something going. I'm, I'm hungry, I haven't eaten lunch. So let's, uh, let's get that going. In case it does storm, like around five, it's about 70% chance of thunderstorms. Yeah, but these caterpillars are still not as many as there were, but they're, they are all over the place here. Actually, where'd they go? Most of them were gone again. If I just use the little stove, let's see. Uh, see we, oh, we have the mashed potatoes, but I think we had those last time. I think I might go for the uh, beef barley soup actually tonight. We got like, there's ravioli here, corned beef hash, some of these. That looks pretty good too, but I think I'm just gonna go for the. Uh, the beef barley tonight. We got the little stove going. It's already already steaming up. Just turned it on like 10 seconds ago. So makes for a nice fast nice fast meal. Beef barley. Caterpillars are starting to get a little bit annoying though. They're all over my tarp. There's one one on there, one got squished. Just one crawling on me. Just trying to hear make my supper do, guys. You guys gotta get out of here. Well, they're back. And they're all over the place. There's a bunch right there. He's coming up. He's down there. <laughs> They're marching on top. Coming up this way. One there, one up there. Yeah, once again, I'm not sure what species they are offhand. They remind me of, uh, back home we have like, we call tent caterpillars. Not because of tent, but they make uh, like a webbing in the trees that looks like a tent. But yeah, it's starting to look like a nightmare, sort of. Night of the caterpillar. They'll devour me in my sleep. But they can't they can't get inside though. At least I at least I hope not. So here's one crawling up my leg. They are trying to devour me. Bye bye. Oh get out of here. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if these are what are called gypsy moth caterpillars. Invading my sight. <laughs> Once again, they're just all over. Yeah, there. Hey, look at them. Just everywhere crawling all over the tarp. Oh boy. Let's go for. I saw a little trail over here. I believe there's a creek down here. Down in this little valley. Might check that out. Still no big storm clouds coming. Let me check what time it is. About 4 30, so. Like I said, around five o'clock, maybe. Actually, I have a signal out here. Huh, that's odd. I thought I wouldn't have a signal out here. I'll have to check that out. Maybe I'll check the weather again. Yeah, let me do that right now. Okay, so things have changed, like they usually do weather-wise. So between eight and nine is when the thunderstorms are gonna be here, and with the potential for severe. So there's a, there's a severe thunderstorm watch. So, um, so, uh, yeah, so we'll probably get a fire going then at some point, because it probably won't rain before then. I'll probably take the tarp, the tarp, the uh, the canopy down. I won't need it. Maybe I'll go to bed around 8. I, I got up at 3 this morning and left at 4 to get to the beach about at, this morning about 7, so I am pretty tired. Plus, if there's going to be severe thunderstorms, I'm not going to be out here <laughs> doing anything, so we might. The canopy is nice for some shade right now and from some of the bugs a little bit. Not protecting me from the caterpillars though, which are everywhere. All right, yeah, so maybe we'll get a fire going a little bit, but let's go, 
Let's go down to check out the creek. So it looks like there is a little trail here behind my camp. I guess. Oh, this is mountain laurel. Pennsylvania state flower, but blooming here in the pine barrens. The flowers are just a little bit smaller than they are in Pennsylvania, probably just because poor soil conditions. I guess this is the trail. It's kind of degrading into nothing here. Uh, yeah, we'll keep going. All right, now we drop down into this. Temperature cooled off down here too. Wow. It's pretty boggy down here. Yeah. Um, this is pretty wet. Welcome to the boggy pine barrens, man. It's actually really uh, unique down here. Like I said, you know, some of my other videos, we're not in Pennsylvania anymore. I believe these are some kind of cedar tree. They have that look. But yeah. I'm also filming a video on the Jersey Devil. I was down here filming that, but yeah, just look at this. Kind of spooky down here. Somewhere up there is the, the campground. Let's just go on for a little bit more. Who knows what we'll find down here. I guess th somewhere down here I think there's a stream, but we'll see. Alright, I believe I'm making my way back up towards the campground. Nice if there was a trail. So we'll just go... Actually, it looks like, is there a trail right here? Yeah, there is. Oh, lots of biting flies. Oh, a very distinct trail. All right, we'll just go back up. Let's see what looks like, might be an outhouse up here. Yeah, I think these are some of the larger group camping sites. Yeah, it's probably the outhouse there. <laughs> Man, people trash this place. Whole bag of trash over there. That's a shame. Yeah, it looks like way up there is another group camping site. Yeah, this is a shame right here. People just leave their garbage. Ruins it for everybody else. Yeah, I think I mentioned this is the Hawkins Bridge campground. We're in what's called Wharton State Forest. And some of the campsites here are just for one vehicle and some are for like a multiple vehicles, like a group camping area. You wanna have, come out camping with a whole bunch of people and all get eaten or devoured by caterpillars, all of you. Oh, there's another outhouse over there. Looks like we have some nicer... What is this, a toilet? Yeah, it is a toilet. Nicer one than some of the others we've seen. Yeah, here's group site B. Yeah, someone left a camp chair over there. Let's take a look up here. I think maybe the creek is down here. Oh yeah, I see water. There's quite the trail going down here too. Wow, I'll say. Okay, so this looks primordial down here. Wow. Look at that deep, dark color in the stream. That's from the swamp. The, uh, the plants 
the swamps have a, a substance in them called tannin. Kind of colorizes the water this brown color, but man, this looks, it's almost like you could see a, it's like a dinosaur just come lift its head up out of the water. It's nice down here though. I feel like just bringing my tent down here. Wow. Yeah, just uh, even right here where I'm standing, I could have put a tent. I'm not going to, but I'm just saying, like right here. There's probably a lot of mosquitoes down here, but it just keeps on going. Wow, look at that. It's beautiful. Yeah, I think this is a popular like kayaking stream too. I see numbers on the trees. Probably means things to kayakers if you're coming through here. Maybe they camp here at some of these places as they kayak through, but this is this is awesome. There's one place this reminds me of. It's a place in South Carolina that I visited when I was in college. I think now it's called the Congaree National Park, but back then it was the Congaree Swamp National Monument, I think it was called amazing place it was it looked a lot like this except better boardwalks and you'd come in and be all these trees draped with like that Spanish moss and all the dark water looked looked prehistoric it's kind of reminds me of it a little bit all right well, let's make our way back to camp and see about getting a fire going Maybe some of that smoke will get rid of some of the bugs maybe some of those caterpillars I don't see a whole lot of caterpillars down this way it's like they're just invading my site And I almost forgot to mention, I have some mail to share tonight too. Some of which is edible mail. So I could, use, could go for a couple snacks again. But I'm gonna get the fire going. And then uh, I guess we'll have a little bit of mail time by the fire. Sounds good. I'll tell you what though, we are alone. <laughs> no one else out here. Just me and the army of caterpillars. Gotta find where my uh, tent is. There's number three. Where number four? All right, I see Naomi up there in our campsite. Let's get a fire going. Okay, you might be tired of seeing the caterpillars, but they are officially starting to freak me out a little bit. <laughs> They're just everywhere. All over the tent, just crawling everywhere. All, he all here on the outside, though. But wow, <sighs> what is up with this kingdom of the caterpillars? Sheesh, they're having a party up here. All right, man, I don't know. As long as they stay on the outside, I guess it's okay. Hey, but we got a fire going. <laughs> There's even a caterpillar in my campfire. Where is he? There he is. Crawling the log there. They're everywhere. Dude, buddy. Yeah, he's, I think he realizes it's a bad idea. Bad idea, buddy. I know you're tired of seeing them, but oh my goodness, what is going on? This is insane. <laughs> All right. But as promised, we got the fire going and we got some mail to go over to. Share some of this in here. All right, so this first letter is from David, but check out all the cool stamps he used. Send this to me. I'll turn it over. And he sent me some, throw me a nice little note in there. He sent me some other stamps too. These are, these, uh, let's get these out here carefully. Should recognize the name on there. For the camera focuses, let me get them out there. Yeah, Fort Duquesne. That's cool. U.S. postage. And then I got a number of things here from Debbie. But man, uh, I've got a thunderstorm brewing off in a distance there, but I think, I think it's going that way. <laughs> Hopefully. All right, so in this bag we have 
We have some of this, uh, hold on here, some of this bacon jerky again. We had some of this at Ravensburg. I'll be having some tonight again. That's good stuff. I'm going to set that aside. And she sent me some other stuff in here. Some of these Pocky sticks. Chocolate cream covered biscuit sticks. Some more of these honey roasted pistachios. Those were amazing. I have some of those tonight too. Honey minis. Those will come in handy. Different things actually. And then, what's this? Oh, there's more there. Where, uh, what is this? Oh, min, uh, peanut butter. Classic peanut butter spread. Oh, they're like squeeze packs. That's cool. Oh, yeah, like individual packets of peanut butter. Okay. Yeah, peanut butter and honey <laughs> for my peanut butter and honey sandwiches. All right, thanks, Debbie. Um, I think there's a this is from her too. This bag. All right. Let's see. Oh, I think she sent me some. Yeah, stuff from Pioga, <laughs> Potter, Tioga counties, if I can say it. What else is in here? Some different. Oh, I, wanted, I have. Oh yeah, Pennsylvania map. This is the Pennsylvania map that I use, but this is a much newer uh, condition than the one I show you often in my videos. Okay, what else is here? Uh, a, number of, a number of other brochures from Pentayoga County. I won't show them all to you. Allegheny National Forest. All kinds of stuff. Cool. We'll be up that way shortly, actually. A few more brochures. Oh, yep, thank you for the card, Debbie. I forgot that was in there. Oh, Pennsylvania Route 6. Let me show you the card she sent me. Little flowers on the front. Then there's one more thing in here. Oh, what was, oh yeah, this thing. I remember. I had opened this previously. Check that out. It's a journal. It's got my name on it, too. Adventurer's Journal. 2022. You know, I love my journals. All right, that's cool. And then one more gift came. It was in another bag. I'm not sure who sent it. was no name in it. I don't know if this came from Debbie, too. There was no name in the bag for this one. But regardless, thank you. I love, I've been eating a lot of these in Nature's Bakery. I've never had the oatmeal crumble apple flavor before, but I'm going to try one of those now, actually. Okay, so time to try the oatmeal crumble. The apple. She mentioned too that there's there are ticks here too, quite a few. I found three of them already. Three of them on me already. So ticks and caterpillars. But hey, we got Nature's Bakery oatmeal crumble apple bar. Hmm. And that just made everything better. And now there are giant horse flies. Look at that thing. It's gonna be an inch long. I don't want him biting on you. All right, buddy, you can just, uh, you can go elsewhere. Man, that thing is. Okay, there's a caterpillar crawling on my arm. Hold on and another one. Invasion of the caterpillars, giant horse flies, but hey, but hey, we've got bacon jerky, hickory smoked, that is good stuff. Makes everything better, for the most part. <laughs> and a quick mention too, if you would like to send a gift or a card or anything in the mail, uh, my mailing address is down below in the description if you would like to do something like that. It, it's all it's all appreciated. All right, thank you. Oh look, more caterpillars. One, but two. This is getting kind of annoying, to be honest, quite honest with you. Uh, oh, but look, we have a fire and we have bacon jerky and other yummies trying to stay positive but caterpillars they are starting to get annoying but hey it starts what time is it it's getting about six o'clock here I need my phone yeah almost six o'clock hopefully it'll been a bit warm and muggy this evening hope it'll cool down soon maybe the caterpillars will go away <laughs> Try to focus on the positive. Okay, so we have a turkey situation again. Just like at Raccoon Creek State Park. 
We're being visited by turkeys again. That's cool. Is she alone? Oh, the turkey's gone now. It was down in the bushes a little bit and I caught one final glimpse of it going that way, but didn't get it on camera in time, but it looked like a hen. But usually they have, the hens would most likely have young ones with them, so maybe, I didn't get a really good look at it. It could have been, like I said, a, uh, the males have what's called a beard, but sometimes the young males, which are called jakes, have just a really short beard, but I didn't really, maybe when I get home and get a better view on the computer of what he looked like. I thought if it would have been a hen, they would have young ones with them. Might have to put some more, uh, get some more wood on there. Yeah, that thunderstorm passed, that passed that way is gone now, and now the the sun is out shining again that way. But we'll see. It's just and watching other people's. Appalachian kind of Trail videos out here. So kind of shocked that we have that I have internet service out here. But uh, hey, we'll take advantage of it. Cool. There's a baby back there. All right, so I took the canopy down. Don't really need it up anymore. The sun isn't out, and I don't really want it up if we do get those severe thunderstorms. But the caterpillar situation has improved greatly, and I'm almost positive that those are gypsy moth caterpillars because I'm looking up at these trees. I, I always, there's always little pieces of uh, leaves and stuff falling on the tent. But you notice a lot of these trees, the leaves are almost gone on them. These look like oak trees, but gypsy moths tend to defoliate these trees. They can cause a lot of damage. Because in other places we've been, you know, the trees have been fully leafed out. I'm assuming these were too, but they—they're being eaten, skeletonized. Yeah, you know, I was trying to look. Sometimes you can find like uh, just constantly like little bits. Like here's little bits of leaf. You can see that right there. A little bit of a green leaf that's falling from the trees. The gypsy moths, caterpillars are very wasteful. You know, they're just kind of munching the leaves, eat a bunch of it, and just let the rest of it fall to the ground. Kind of like messy eaters. Kind of like when you're eating crackers and you know half the crackers end up on the floor or somewhere and only half of them get actually eaten. That's kind of what these guys do. So I'm thinking that's what's going on here. We got a gypsy moth infestation going on. But like I said, it's getting better. I don't know if it's because it's cooling down this evening or what. Maybe it's because I took the canopy down, but a uh, great improvement, <laughs> which I'll take. Also, all, all the flies are gone too, so starting to look up a little bit, but of course we got those, it's maybe about 6.30 or a little after, so we're still waiting for those severe storms to come. All right, but I got another load of firewood on and we'll just sit here and relax. Maybe do a little more reading, watch a few more YouTube videos. I'm still, I'm kind of, I'm still stunned that we have service out here. I showed you the road, the road earlier that we came in on. We're, we're in the middle of nowhere here and I have quite a few bars of service, so I don't know, there must be a Something to give it a service. Maybe they did it for the campground, I don't know. Hey, we'll take it though. All right, I just want you to listen a little bit. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but there's constantly stuff falling. Oh, there's another tick. I think he's gonna throw him in the fire, actually. There's constantly little pieces of stuff falling on the tarp. Not anymore there is, but but what it is, it's these little balls. It's caterpillar poop. That's what it is. All these little tiny balls. We can can't pick them, that's caterpillar poo. And where's it coming from? It's coming from those gypsy moths eating up there. Probably actually the tree right up here. I'm being pooped on by caterpillars. <laughs> that's what it is. Because I'm just sitting here. Just relaxing, watching the fire. Kept hearing like, like a little pitter patter of things falling. That's what it is. Little pieces of poop. <laughs> okay, that's a new experience too. But look at that dark cloud coming for us. That's coming right our way. 
It is about 7 o'clock, so a little bit early for those severe thorm storms, but doesn't necessarily mean if they come right at 8 o'clock. Yeah. All right. We'll uh, stay out as long as we can. If it starts to downpour, we'll just dive into the tent. Call it a night. It is a cozy little scene there, though. I suppose in a half hour or so, it's not going to look so cozy as the as these storms come near. Hey, but it's starting to feel great temperature-wise, though. Starting to cool down. Yeah, getting some raindrops falling now. No torrential downpours. Just one lone caterpillar. Bye. <laughs> yeah, you can probably hear it. The rain coming down. That's not caterpillar poop now, that's rain coming down. So, I don't think this is the main event yet. It's dark here, but it looks a little bit lighter out that way. Yet. Who knows? These storms can just pop up all of a sudden. But it's definitely cooling down. Oh, there you can feel the wind picking up. Well, I can feel the wind picking up, but yeah. All right, <laughs> might be a fun night. Hey, hey, you know, last summer when we camped at World's End State Park, we, uh, we survived a thunderstorm. That's why I learned that the tent is indeed waterproof. Hopefully that holds true here in the Pine Barrens, but it was, you know, it's something that'll sleep into the sound of a thunderstorm and the rain falling on your tent. That can be pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna st still sit out here yet until it, until a downpour forces me and I put everything I had it in the tent, except for the chariot. Campfire still going. I was unsure whether to put that last bundle on. I didn't know how long the rain would hold off, but it worked out pretty well. It's burned down pretty good. I didn't want to put like a fresh, you know, bunch of firewood on and have a downpour and then kind of just have it not burn then. <laughs> yeah, pretty peaceful. Did have one car drive up through. They went up that way, kind of loud, honking their horn. I'm not sure what they were doing, but then they, they took off again, thankfully. I don't mind if, wouldn't mind if they camped, but they were awfully loud, so I was hoping they wouldn't stay. So they, they didn't. I'm not sure why they pulled in. Looks sounded like they were picking something up. I wonder if they picked up that chair that we saw earlier in the video. Maybe they realized they left it out here, but anyway. Okay, so we have fled to the safety of the tent. You can hear the rain falling. And there's some light. I see some lightning and you can hear the thunder too a little bit, so it's coming. About 15 minutes away. Should get nailed pretty bad, maybe. But we're in the thick of it now. Let's get the tent open a little bit. There's a mesh screen there, but. Cool air coming in. What's that sound? That rain. One lone caterpillar all around up there. He's on the outside. On the mesh. Oh, on the inside. Quite a bit of thunder now. Sound of the whippoorwill. It's about one o'clock at night.
about 4.30 in the morning and got more of those whippoorwill, whip, whip, whippoorwills. <laughs> kind of like that sound. Well, it's six o'clock in the morning. Time to get up, get the show on the road. And our buddies, the caterpillars, are back. Get the two on the screen there. Ah, it's a turkey out there. One, I can't see him, but I can hear the male gobbling every now and then. All right, let's get going. All right, so here's what it looks like this morning. Got a lot of rain last night. And then it get a lot of, and it getting muddy in the tent there. Just cause I had to get up to the bathroom in the middle of the night, and uh, no way of keeping the mud out, I guess. But anyway, yeah. Oh. It was pretty cool to hear those birds last night. They're called whip whippoorwills. I put their name down here. I think there's different kinds of them. Uh, they make different sounds. They can be annoying. I know some people say you, they, they go all night, but I kind of like it. Um, I'll try to figure out what some of the other ones were, too. There's a whole family of them. I don't believe I've ever heard them before. Always wanted to. They do occur in Pennsylvania, but not necessarily my home area. They're more common in some areas than not. But... All right. We're going to get packed. Oh, yeah, I was going to talk. Let me show you. There's... Here's a little oak tree here. Some of those gypsy moths. Oh, they're just totally defoliating the trees here. This little oak tree here should be completely leafed out. You do see a few leaves on it yet, but it's covered in these gypsy moth caterpillars are just eating everything. Maybe that's not an oak tree. I see a little berry on there, but that's oh, a ladybug. They're just covering this tree. So here's all the twig little things left where there used to be leaves, but the gypsy moths ate everything. So yeah, all the they're just covering everything. There's a green shoot from this year. No leaves at all, just covered in gypsy moss. I don't know if the camera's showing those, but yeah. The tree has no leaves on it. The gypsy moss ate every single one. It's awful. But that's what's happening to a lot of these trees. That's why they're not, they don't look fully leafed out. They did have leaves until <laughs> the gypsy moss ate them all. That explains all the caterpillars too. Yeah, gypsy moths are an invasive species. They're not originally from the United States. There's a whole story behind that. I think it was, it was in the 1800s or early 1900s. Somebody, they're, 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 they belong to the silk moth family. And somebody wanted to try and make silk here in America. That's where silk comes from, natural silk, from silk moths. But it didn't work out so well for him, so he just let the moths go. He brought them over from like China and let them go and this is what happened. They kind of just took off. All right, well, enough of a little history and nature lesson. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get packed up, we're gonna get going. I wanna get out of this caterpillar nightmare place. Although, you know, <laughs> it wasn't too bad of a place, I guess. The caterpillars, I just came at the wrong time. Oh, I found two more ticks on me last night too. I had to get off, so. It's definitely a wild area. Which makes it cool. Got to hear the whip whippoorwills and things like that. Definitely quiet and peaceful. But uh, I'm tired of the caterpillars. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm yapping too much. Let's uh, let's get packed up. But one more thing about the caterpillars. This is the top of Naomi here, and she is kind of can see all these little brown little balls. This is all caterpillar poop. She is covered in caterpillar poop up top here. There's, that's all poop from the caterpillars. Once again, this tree used to have leaves, gypsy moss, the caterpillars ate all of it and they're just pooping. You see the bits of the leaves that they dropped. We talked about yesterday how they just, they're slobs. But yeah, Naomi wants out of here too. <laughs> all right, campsite is cleaned up and we're gonna make our way out of here. She's, Naomi's ready to go too. All right, so yeah, we're ready to get out of here. Um, yeah, an interesting experience, um, you know, not everything went great, but I still had a I still had a pretty good time out here. 
you know, it's all part of the journey. It's all part of making memories and stuff. You know, I'll remember this trip. You know, the, the nightmare caterpillars. And while I was out here filming yesterday's stuff, I was also filming a video on the Jersey Devil, about the legend and the nightmare of that. But it turns out that the real nightmare of the Jersey Pine Barrens are the caterpillars. But anyway, I'm going to head out. we got two more places we're going to stop at on the way home. One is the uh, Ghost Town of Friendship. And I'm going to stop at a memorial for a Mexican uh, pilot. Kind of a tragic event on the way back to. Both are just kind of up the road here. So hopefully I'll see you on those videos. But hey, if you want to camp in the Pine Barrens, get a little taste of what you might expect. Because it depends on what season you're here too. So, all right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.